Hi, I'm Craig McLeod and today on Drift My Ride we have Ren's Drift Spec E36 M3. When BMW want to create something special, they send it to their motorsport division called M. This E36 M3 was the most powerful 3 series you could buy and was the first M3 powered by a straight 6 engine. The E36 was also one of the first cars BMW designed with computers. This produced one of the best handling cars of the 1990s and an outstanding drift car. Hi, Hi Ren. Hi Craig, how you doing? Not bad. So thank you for letting us have a shot of your car yeah, today. No uh, so can you tell us what we've got? Yeah, today we are going to try my BMW M3. It's an E36 coupe shape. Um, it's originally an auto shell, but it's okay. got everything for an M3 uh, transplanted into it. And I've had it for about... So, so was it originally an M3 then? Or was it a... The shell was originally a 328 okay. auto, but uh, the guy who owned it previously wrote um, off his M3, had a little oh crash right. doing a bit of a <coughs> street uh, And so he reshelled um, his entire M3 into this shell. And okay. uh, then I've had it for about four and a half years and I've done quite a lot of stuff to it. So let's have a wee run through. What yeah. have we got done here? There's pipes. Yeah, so we've got your hydro handbrake there. Uh -huh. um, it's got quite a lot of work done to the engine bay. Uh, it's got a fully rebuilt engine from Redish Motorsport. Uh, all all right, got okay. men's all been done as well so and all the valve clearances. So did you take that when you got the car? Yeah. You took it and yeah. that took it out, sent it down to them, and I actually had it done, or I got it. I bought the car with it just done. So oh, it was quite perfect. Good, quite handy, and it's got a BC coilovers on it as well. It's got a steering kit which I got imported from America, an SLR Ultra kit, which okay. is quite good. So hopefully you'll give that a shot today and see how you well, feel about it. I hope so. When you bought this, was this just an impulse buy or did you were you looking for M336? How, what was the story I've behind buying this? always loved E36s. Yeah. I had an M3 before for drifting back in 2007. I thought it was brilliant. In fact, my first drift car that I got in 2005 was uh -huh. an E36 325 Saloon. Uh -huh. uh, I loved that as well. And I've always sort of stuck with E36s and um, when I first liked them, they were quite expensive and they weren't just like, you know, that 500 quid car yeah. that everyone got yeah. to smash into a wall kind of thing. So um, I've tried, ho hopefully I can just keep this car until it becomes like an E30, massively overpriced for what you get. <laughs> <laughs> but would you sell it? Do you, you've had this a while and yeah. you've not, you like- you never use it, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, but you don't get rid of it. Nah. So you must love it. Is well, there, I kind of I use it for the Driftland experiences uh -huh. for the taxi laps, and it's got all the Driftland advertising on it as well. So for that reason, I've just kind of kept it just now. Okay. I figured as long as I keep it, I'm not going to lose any money on it. Right, it's not going to get yeah. more of it. Absolutely. Yeah. So that was the plan. Good. Is it a good plan? I'm not sure. I can't answer that plan. <laughs> I don't think there's any good plans around drifting and money. I think it's no. all bad plans. No. But From as long as you're happy, that's the good that's, thing. About that it. is a good point. So, like you say, you've done some work to the suspension and everything. Is there yeah. any sort of custom stuff that you've done that you've kind of thought, right, you know, this, uh, you, you noticed stuff about the car that you didn't think was quite working, and or is it everything just bought off the shelf? And I know what you mean. So, is it all just throwing parts and money yeah. at it, or is there some custom yeah. bits? Um, bits that have been good, uh, that are more custom based, are the, um, the flares in the front and rear yeah. uh, arches as well. Uh, I wanted to design the car so it could sit low at the back, so it's 120 mil lower than standard. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I also wanted to run a 10J wheel with zero <laughs> negative camber as well. So yeah. I got I set that up and then got the arches created to do that. And so that's as much as they can really flare at the back. Uh -huh. um, other custom bits that are good are is the front crash bar as well. Okay. I have good experience in telling you that <laughs> that front crash bar has saved my engine. In the past. <laughs> so um, I would always recommend you get some sort of crash protection fit to the front of your drift car. Nice cage in here. Did yep. you fit this or is this? Did you get the car like this? Did it? I got the um, I bought the cage from Custom Cages and I got the Driftline Garage to fit it as Excellent. well. So that's been in there for a couple of years now. And then I got uh, Tool Design in Loch Gelly to respray it in the gold inside. Yeah. And then they also did the outside in a BMW Laguna Seca blue, yeah. which is a it's, an, it's a nice contrast. It is like yeah. a really the gold and the the blue really kind of works. Shall we have a play? Yeah, let's go and have a play. See what you think. Uh, patchy on track, so I'm icy to see how on track <laughs> as well. Like she ice all the way down. That's all one, the way down. That's one this, excuse. Right, Any yeah. more excuses ready? Fitting it all right. Yeah, so that can't use that excuse. That's um, 
You've got sun. What about the sun glare? Sun today? glare. Yeah, yeah nice a lot of well. that. Yeah. I've not checked the tire pressures. <laughs> that's a good. You can one. have that one as well. <laughs> that's a really good. I'm going <laughs> to use that one. Uh, so yeah, with all those excuses, uh, let's go take it for a spin. There's a gear stick. Just go for it. Please be no ice. in there. I think that might be time. That's when you start pushing it. And then yeah, start pushing it. Too far. Having too much fun. Like, yeah, the grip out of it is so, like, yes, this is what's happening. Yeah. Oh, it's just you awesome. Get a lot of feedback through this. Yeah, yeah so sure. much. Good. That was amazing. Thank you so Good to have much. You in the car. Thank you for not wrecking my car too much. Yeah, well, we'll see what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go out and see what it's like. So, I can see bits of bumper not quite where they need to be. Let's go and have a look. That's worse than I was hoping for. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>